We're going to have a look at the fish black minnow and how to put it together. And at the end, I'll show you a little tip that I do slightly differently. But for now, it comes with a head attached to a link. You've got tails, different versions, but we're going to use the 120, uh, the big one, the big offshore. These are the tails that we're going to use. There's two holes drilled into the tail. One accepts the link from the weighted head and the other one there is where the point of the hook goes into. I'll have a look at that in a moment. Uh, you can actually match the hooks as well for the size of the lure. These are the hooks. Now I like to have a little practice of putting the hook to make sure it ends up on the right side. Point down when you start. It's worth having a little practice to make sure the hook goes on properly. Start with the hook point down so that when you put it over the link the hook point is up. That's because it's a weedless lure. You always want the point at the top of the lure. Pierce the tail, that end of the tail, that facing end, onto the link like this. It goes onto the white bit on this lure. You want to make sure it's exactly in the middle. And you're going to push it through and thread it up. Uh, and it'll end up offset. So make sure you get right in the middle of that. It's a real soft silicon. Run it all the way through and then it's going to twist back to make sure it's level with the lead. So push in. It's very soft, this to there. That point there is what you want. You see that little hook pointing out? You can actually, now some people put the hook on at this point and twist the whole lot round. I prefer to set the tail. You can actually use super glue to glue it on. And once you've twisted it on, that's where you might want to put glue between the head. You can see there the hook and I put the hook on at this point. It does slightly less damage. They're so soft these things. And then your final job is to bend it so that the hook goes through there, push through. And then my little tip would always be to tuck that hook into the silicon. That bass will still hook itself on that. And then hopefully, hopefully a bass. <laughs>